Great Scott. It, Great Scott is about um, primarily about the, the the life of a famous opera singer, Arden Scott, thus Great Scott, and what she has done in order to pursue uh, her art form. So that's sort of the, you get to see also an opera within an opera. So there are two things happening at the same time. She's decided to bring a particular piece written by a, a very famous Italian composer back to America. Um, that was one of her goals. So while that is happening and she's accomplishing that, she's back in her hometown and she runs into uh, the first love of her life. They're both divorced, they're both single, they both immediately have this uh, reconnect and what he's become a very successful uh, architect. And they realize that they're not, the question is, did they do the right thing by pursuing their, um, their personal passions without each other or not. So that is essentially, uh, in a nutshell, what it's all about. But I'm, I'm making him a little bit more playful, I suppose, than I did before, a little bit naughtier, because uh, I think when uh, what I realized that I didn't realize then is that when the two of them are together, those two characters, they, they bring out that kind of wild side in each other. So I'm trying to they're more playful. They're, they they lose the the, the twenty five years that has separated them, and so that's a bit of a change for me. You get to see a lot of what happens behind this behind the scenes of an opera. You get to see backstage. You get to see the rehearsal process. You get to see many caricatures of of different voice types in it, and uh, I think. The, it has something for everybody in the sense that you have uh, a real love story happening, a real dilemma, something that, that about you know finding the, the right person and having it, having that that being torn between what what to do in life. Uh, there are some really poignant moments and there are some very funny moments, and um, it, it's good for the people that know a lot about the business and it's good for people that know nothing about the business. I think. Uh, Terrence and, and Jake really uh, hit it out of the park with this one. I think we have to come to terms with the fact that the world is changing and that we have to start, you know, putting a little bit, paying a little bit more attention to sound design, you know, and amplification and other instruments that not just, we're not, we shouldn't just use a, a 19th century orchestra, you're going to use a wider variety of things. In the uh, program that uh, uh, I run at the University of Illinois called Lyric Theater, we're doing um, uh, the coronation of Popea next year. One of the things that intrigued me about doing something like that is that it's one of the first operas ever written. But if you look at the score, I took it, I got to look at the score at the British Library in London. It's a lead sheet, no orchestration. So what we decided to do was kind of glam rock it and modernize the 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 accompaniment. So you'll have some strings but you'll also have a little bit of electric bass and electric guitar instead of the harpsichord and things like that <clears throat> to be able to give it that sound that, that helps uh, speak uh, to, uh, to listeners living in the 21st century. And, you, and they have technology now, like these magic hands, I think, or magic gloves, where you could actually program in that, for example, whenever one of the gods touches something, it's more like, you know, it's a head, you, you can sense there's something different about them. <clears throat> and uh, since it's available to us, it takes a little bit more thought. And you have to really, for example, have the sound designer there from the beginning so that it's done. You have to have a good system as well. But why not? I mean, <laughs> you, 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 whatever, you know, whatever can reach people in, in a way that says opera is not what you thought it was. It's not, you know, the fat lady with the horns and the spear. It is sung theater, and that's that's what it is. Period. And so, make it good, and and make it uh, uh, relevant, and that's um, that's something I, I believe wholeheartedly in.